Hello everyone. My name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP video series. In today's video, I will be going to tell you about how to react a URL parameters in a visual force in Salesforce. So let me tell you the scenario. So the scenario is that we have got, uh, we, have, we are going to create a visual force page. We have to create a visual force search page basically. So like this, we will be going to create one search text field and there will be one button and when user enter the text two characters or three characters or four characters or n number of characters and when user clicked on go so if the parameter name is present in the page url so it will search run against the supplied value so it will run it so based on a certain criteria based on this criteria uh, we'll create our own custom logic in apex in apex classes and that apex class will get the require get the uh, data from the object and the the output will be displayed in the form of a, in a page block table so as you can see here we have pulled the data from account object here means we are going to apply this of this search option on account object so obviously we'll be going to implement here soql queries as well and also we will be going to implement our search query and we are going to pass the parameter from visual force page onto apex classes into an apex class and based on that the apex class will run soql query so let's see how to implement this so we need to create two pages one will be our visual force page and then we'll be going to implement our apex class so let's create one visual force page first of all so i create one vf page and i'll give a name to vf page will be apex and slash name of page will be let's say search url example search url example so i click on this link to create the visual force page and it will create a visual force page for us so you can see the page has been created now i'm going to create uh, the scenario like this or present a create a visual force page like this which contains a criteria one input field and one button so let's see this so here i'm going to design the visual force page let's design the visual force page so that's the code for the visual force page first of all i have created a controller i mentioned here controller search from url controller so if this controller does not exist it will show an error message and it will allow us to create an apex class basically controller itself is an apex class where we can implement our business logic then i have created one page block with the title criteria page block section page box section item there will be two items one is output label one is input text same we have one output label and one input text and we have got one button as well so i have created one button as well and this button executes and this button implements an action execute search because this action does not exist in salesforce or in visual force this is an uh, this is a custom action so we need to define this action now we'll be going to define this action in our apex class then i've created one apex via page block title result and rendered is equal to searched so it is to refresh it and here we have a page block table this page block table will pull the data from accounts and this accounts will be going to define in our apex class where account and account dot name industry and type so when i save it it will throw an error message because it will look for this specific apex class or controller but we are not getting uh, this controller over there so it will throw an error message so you see we are getting an error message here so we are getting two error message we are getting two links to create this apex class controller first one is in sharing mode another one is in local mode so the difference between them is if we go with the first option public with sharing then the same apex class can be accessed from anyone or any user in the organization and if we use if we go with the second option then it will it can be accessed only by the current user so i'll go with the first option public with sharing class search from url controller so the apex class has been created now we'll be going to customize this apex class and implement the functionality so i implement the functionality so that's the code in the apex class so let me let me explain you about this so here first of all the name to search for i have mentioned a comment as well so i was looking for the name 
this name as you can see here the input text name so that's why i define this name here and get and set property to get the values and to set the values and while using sql queries it will, means when we enter or when we specify a name here and click on go button if the record match so maybe we can have more than one record so instead of creating an object instead of creating an instance uh, of an account object so i create it like a list instance so list means it can hold multiple values then i look for boolean search so as you can see here it is refreshing the rendered search rendered is basically to to show or hide a particular section so that's why you can see we are not getting any section here right now this is to show or hide this section so if its value is set to true or false according to that it will display the value it will show or hide that particular section so i define this boolean search as well then this is a constructor and in this constructor i set search is by default it is false then i create an string because i would like to get the data means so from here this visual force page is passing the parameter on to apex apex class so like this this instance or this command is used to pass the parameter from a visual force page on to apex class so syntax is apex pages dot current page dot get parameters dot get name so whatever parameter user entered here let's suppose here i enter bi and so this bi will be passed and stored in the name str so i check if null not equal not equal to name str so we store the name str value into name and click on execute search this execute search is a function here is a page reference function and we have this execute search here as well this execute search when we click on the go button it will call the it will invoke this execute search and uh, this page reference always returns a value so here i return null if we if we want to if we want to redirect to any other page we can specify the page name here we can use a page reference instance but because i don't want to reference to any other page so that's why i specify here null then i created one search string of search string variable with percent name percent because uh, this the whatever name we are entering here let's suppose i have entered a value here bi so this bi can be uh, this bi can be as a first first letter or first two characters or in the middle or anywhere at the end as well so it will look in the whole string then this is the soql query the soql query is i write select id comma name comma industry comma type i specify id name industry type because in this page block this page block table is getting the data from accounts and here we are we are displaying name industry and type so that's why i here specify name industry and type and all the so if all the matching records will be stored in this account an account is a list here you see account is a list here so it can hold multiple values this one so when we save it and execute it so now i entered here name bi and when i click on go button so it will look for the account name whose contains this bi as a first character in the middle or at the end anywhere means it should occurs in the account name anywhere in, in at any position so when we click on go it will search the record in that account object and the result will be this 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 sql query will return the result into this account object and from this account object we have displayed the values here account dot name industry and type so we can see here we have this bisp solutions and bisp solution parameter so we have two records here which contains this bi okay. and if i change it if i simple enter u and click on ok So you can see bisp solutions are coming because it contains u as well this also contains u this also have u here this also have u so that's why like this we can we can display the values or we can create a search string or a visual force page to search the search the account name based on a certain based on an input given by the user and this is how we can pass the parameter from a visual force page onto apex class so this particular statement is used to pass the parameters so that's all in this tutorial if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bisptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for videos on salesforce i will be coming up to some new videos on salesforce till then have a nice day ahead goodbye